Hey guys and girls, my name is Dan and welcome back to The Forge. In this episode of Trust Me, I'm a Blacksmith, I'm going to tell you how much money you should be earning an hour. In this video, I'm going to talk about hourly rates, how to work out your hourly rate, so how much you should be getting paid an hour, and then also I'm going to go over how to charge for items on an hourly rate basis. So about halfway through the video, I'm going to talk about earnings and hourly rates and how to work that out based on what you want to get out of your business. I'm also going to go on to talk about uh, how to cost up items. Um, we're going to make a fire poker and a door knocker in this episode. And I'm going to tell you how it costs them uh, and how easy they are to make or not make, perhaps. Uh, and, um, and these items are going to be the sort of items that you might make one or two of in a day, maybe three items of a day, or maybe slightly smaller items where you might be able to make ten in a day and cost accordingly. Um, so let's get on. Uh, I'm going to start by making a fire poker. It's probably going to take me an hour to do it properly. It's going to involve a bit of a twist, a little bit of a fire weld, a little bit of a hook, a little bit of cleaning up and polishing, and then a finish. And then I'm going to talk about how much it costs to make, uh, so on and so forth. And then I'm going to go on. And so I've got a piece of 16mm um, square or 5 8 square bar, mild steel, just bog standard. Uh, I'm going to find about the middle. Uh, it's about 600mm long or 2 foot long. I'm going to sort of find the middle. I'm going to put a mark in the middle. Uh, that's where I'm going to draw a bit of a taper down across the whole length. And then I'll fold the end up, do a little bit of a fire weld on. I'm going to do some little um, segregations with the fly press. And then I'm going to put a loop on the other end and then do a twist. And that's basically going to be it. So I'm going to get on with that. Okay, so what I've done here is um, I've just uh, put a beeswax finish on it. Uh, just a pretty standard. This is a log for a log fire. This is this is the, why this hooks like this is uh, for a log fire. Pretty standard poker. It's quite long as well because log fires tend to be open fires. I'm not so happy with this. This could be a bit better. The twist is nice. It came out okay. And then I was really worried about the fire world, but that's coming absolutely booming. So that's it, this is a very simple poker. So we're working out hourly rate. Now hourly rate is something you need to work out. Um, so you know how much money you need to be earning an hour on average uh, in order to run your workshop. Now the first thing that we need to take into account is the cost of the workshop. So this is utility, so bills, rent, power, whatever that will come under there, rates, taxes, etc., so on and so forth. You've then got your vehicle costs. Um, so that's vehicle tax, vehicle fuel, so on and so forth. Also maintenance for the vehicle. Uh, I've got phone, internet, advertising here. I don't know why I've done that, but running the running the YouTube side of the business is kind of takes up a lot of time, so I've added quite a bit of money in there for that. And then other fuels, tea bags, consumables, grinding discs, so on and so forth, and that's covered under here. Now, if we add all this up, this gives us a grand total of £730 a month. 
Now, if you want to do this in dollars, it's pretty easy. You just wiggle out these signs and swap them for dollars, okay? Obviously, these, these figures won't be the same uh, in the States, but that's what you need to do. Then we need to work out how many hours we work per month in order to match this figure over here. So I say that I work about, and these are earning hours. This is important to understand this, hours worked that earn. If you're working in your workshop and you do 12 hours in a day, but you spent three of those hours um, talking to someone about how your internet works, and then you spent another hour talking to the guy who owns your workshop, and then you spent another hour doing something else, you ain't getting paid for that. If you go off and you see a customer and they say, oh, I want a really nice gate, blah, 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 and you give them the quote and they say they don't want it, that might have taken you five hours to sort that quote out. Now, it's important to understand that not every hour you work earns you money. So I averaged this out. This is, I think this is fair. Six hours a day, five days a week. I divided that, uh, I turned that into my monthly hours, which is 120 hours per month. Now what I did is um, I then decided how much I'd like to be paid myself an hour. I put £10 an hour, 120, 120 hours a month. That gives me a grand total of £1,200. So what I need to do to work, out ha uh, to work out how much the workshop's costing me to run an hour. Now I like to double this figure, so I'd like to have more money than I should. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to divide it by 120. I'm only going to divide it by 60. So we're going to take this figure here, 100, 730 divided by 60, which gives me a total of £12.20. Now I rounded that up. I'm gonna add that to my desired hourly rate, which is £10, which gives me a, a, a total rate of £20, uh, £22 and 20 pence. Now that's the, basically the minimum I need to earn to run this workshop. And it's very important to understand that this is quite flexible. If you want £20 an hour, you just change it to £20 an hour. If, you, if this all needs to go up and down, you can change it. But this is basically how you work out your hourly rate. This gives you an average earning per month of £2,664 a month. And uh, it gives you a yearly earning of about £32,000 per year. Now, I don't think that's... That shabby, it's not great. I do do this on the side, you know, um, and, I net, and I don't really earn that much money. I've come quite close to this figure, but I don't really earn that much money, but it's fairly comfortable. Uh, so if there's any questions about this, drop them in the comments. Okay, for this one, I'm using some fairly big, fairly big stock for the knocker. Um, basically, I'm gonna probably end up using about six inches of this 30 square, um, and I'm gonna try and get myself a nice big volume in the center of these two arms that stretch out. And then this is gonna be the body. Um, so this is 30 square, and this is uh, 50 by 20. Uh, I'll put the American down here. Anyway, basically, I'm gonna take this big piece of stock, I'm gonna give him a good old stamp him in there, and make a brace, a brass knocker plate, uh, and then I'm gonna forge an arm over on a crank on one side, and then you're gonna have it so it's and then the holes to fix it to the door are going to be here. So I'm going to get that all done now.
So guys, super sorry, I haven't been able to finish the door knocker for this video. I will get it finished, I 100% promise I will get it finished and you will get a video with the door knocker in, in all its glory. Uh, unfortunately, I'm very pushed for time at the minute and, and I'm having to do these railings. Um, not that that's a problem, uh, it's just getting content for them and getting them looking good and stuff is a bit complicated. So bear with me, the door knocker will be about. But I'm going to talk to you quickly about the fire poker. Now, the fire poker took me about an hour to make, uh, and it cost me, like, I don't know, about three pounds worth of material. So, if we take our hourly rate figure, which is 22 pounds and 20 pence, I'm gonna add a little bit of profit on, I'm gonna round that number up to 30 pounds. So, that's 30 pounds for an hour's work, plus the three pounds for the poker. So, the minimum you can charge for this poker is Thirty-three pounds American below. Now, thirty-three pounds for something like this for an hour's work, I think, is generous. You can probably charge a bit more. You could probably get about forty quid for one of these. Again, American below. So you can quite easily make five of these in a day. Now, at forty pounds each, five a day. You could sell if you can sell these. You could sell these at craft fairs. You don't necessarily have to. Uh, or, or online, um, wherever you're going to sell things like this, if you can make five a day and you can sell them, that's £200 a day, you are well on target to earn that amount of money you need each day to survive. Uh, it's, it's, that's a roughish figure, but you could do it. Now, um, I just want to say, uh, if you would like some more information about little items for business running, so like fire pokers and hooks and stuff, Go and check out Roy Adams at Christ, Ed, Christ Iron Christ Center Ironworks. What is wrong with me today? Uh, he's got a really great channel, especially for business. He runs an Etsy site. I'm presuming that's predominantly where a lot of his work goes. Um, he sells it to you guys via the internet. Uh, he does quite well at that, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. If you're American, I know Etsy is a hell of a lot easier to do than it is if you're here in the UK. Um, but that's something he does. I don't do it. So if you're interested in selling online, go and check out his uh, channel. I will leave a link down below. Okay, something I thought I should talk to you guys about is making knives and affected hourly rates. Now, um, a knife about this size is a good thing to talk about when you're talking about hourly rates. Um, and especially for some of you guys, I know some of you guys are knife makers. Now, um, something like this, which I made the stock for this, uh, I fire welded a uh, fork truck chain together for this, fork lift truck chain together. And um, that took me about three hours to do. Uh, I also then um, proceeded to forge it, that took me about another hour and then there was a bit of a little light grinding on there and I've obviously got another, a, a lot more grinding to do to this to get it ready and finish with it if I was going to sell it, but it is, um, it, you, in total we're talking somewhere in the region of 10 hours. Uh, 10 hours to make something like this, charging it at about £22.20 20 an hour plus material which was pennies really for something like this. Um, that gives you a grand total of £220 plus material. I would also try and charge a little bit of profit on top for something like this. So for argument's sake, let's call it £25 an hour. I would suggest that you could probably charge somewhere in the region of £250 to £280 for something like this, which is about a day's work if you could do it. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm really sorry that I had to cut this short. I hope the hourly rate stuff made sense and I hope you enjoyed the bit, little bit of footage that I gave you. I am definitely 100% finishing that door knocker. I know I've said that before when it hasn't got around to it, but I do want to get it finished. Uh, hopefully it'll get done on Saturday. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. Why well, haven't you subscribed, but you're watching. Uh, and then go and um, ring that bell for notification. I have a lot of new subscribers. So if you are a new subscriber and you haven't rung that bell for notifications, why not? It'll let you know as soon as a video is posted and it gives me a big boost. It really, really does help. So if you want to help the channel in the tiniest little way, that would be the best one. Also, uh, chuck your comments down below. Tell me what you thought of my hourly rate and stuff like that. I'd really like to know what you guys think. Also, tell me your great idea for your hourly rate item that you would make. And also, uh, just say hello, because I like it when you guys put a bit of a chat down below. Uh, it's really nice to hear from you. Um, I think that's everything. So I will leave a link to a video up here of me making the part one of this, and I will leave a link down 
here to me doing a random video. Thank you so much guys for joining me. I will see you later. Bye bye.